Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Are you terrified of tackling the tech? So one of the biggest reasons that crocheters put off getting into recurring revenue is the fear of the technology. It's the fear of that if it's online, if it's something to do with computers, that it must be complicated. If you're not tech minded, it can feel like you're staring at a massive cliff that you have to climb. But it's actually not as scary as you might think. The days where you can't do anything on the internet without coding are long gone. These days, the programs you need are all drag and drop. They are designed to be user friendly. They are designed to be as simple as possible. This podcast, for example, I'm recording at the click of a button. I just press a button to record. It recognises my microphone as soon as I plug it in. And to finish, all I have to do is click a button and it does all of the building and editing for me. All I've got to do is then load it into my podcast host. It's really simple. Even creating graphics for social media is really easy in Canva. And it's all done by drag and drop. You take the photos, load them into the program, at the click of a button, play around with things that are drag and drop. You can add text, add extra images, all just by dragging and dropping. It's so simple. Even blogs for websites are really easy these days. You don't have to code at all to build a decent website. I've built two websites by myself. I have had no training in that kind of thing whatsoever. And I haven't coded a thing. It's all been done with drag and drop. There are more complex pieces of software out there for more advanced users. But you can build an online business with your crochet using easy to use tools that can compete with the more advanced stuff. Because companies are realizing the value of giving us these tools, of how much we value them, being able to use things really simply and easily with no massive learning curve on how to use them and just needing to play around a little bit. It's now so much simpler. And actually, the tech is the least of your worries when it comes to building a business like this because it really is made really simply. The tools are getting easier and easier to use. The touch of a button can do most things. But to be honest, you don't need to use that much tech. With just a few programs online, I can run my entire business. I can create pretty PDFs. I can create the graphics for my Um, social media posts, I can create printables that I can offer to my membership all on one program, Canva. I use my website to post my blogs, to show my free patterns. I can host my, uh, embed my videos into my posts so that you can see that there as well. I can post up my product for sale on there. I host my membership on my website. I can sell courses on my website. It's all in one place. And creating them, I use a camera. You can create videos using just your smartphone camera. These days, smartphones are so good and advanced that your camera is more than good enough. You don't need anything fancy. So not only is the tech easy to use, it's becoming cheaper as well. It's so much more accessible now. 
you know, if you did try something like this, even five, ten years ago, it was so much more complicated. It's so much easier now. And you definitely don't need to let the fear of learning new tech, of figuring out how it works, you don't need to let that get in your way. It is so much more simpler than you think. And really, it's just the fear of something new, which is, you know, it's reasonable. It's understandable. We all fear change and new things. But don't tell yourself that it's because the tech's too complicated. Because it's not. And what you're really tackling is a fear of the unknown, the fear of the new, and wondering if you are capable of doing it. But if you are willing to put the work in, if you are willing to give it a go, then you absolutely can do this. You can make a business from crochet recurring income online. And really the tech is not what's going to stop you. So what kind of tech are we talking about that you need to get the hang of? We're talking about making graphics for your social media, creating PDFs for your patterns. You can do both of those in Canva. Although for patterns, the PDFs, you only really need to download your Word document as a PDF at its most basic level. It's only if you want to make it look a bit pretty with different colors, different nice fonts and things like that, that you need to go to Canva for. For videos, you can make them on your phone and you would upload them to YouTube. To edit them, you can get some really great just drag and drop editors. I use InVideo, which just lets me cut off the beginning and end so you don't get that strange start and finish. But if you record them all in one go, they're fairly simple to edit. And even if you create them in segments, you just add the three segments together and it's not too difficult. Other things that you might need to get head around, the most complicated one is a blog. If you have your own website, that does take a bit more doing. But there are loads of free videos on YouTube to help you through that process. Tackling the tech is not as hard as it used to be. And there are so many easy to use softwares online and they tend to have a lot of great tutorials either within the tech themselves or on YouTube that have been created by others for you to, to figure out yourself so that you have these great resources available to help you. The help is there and you don't need to fear it. But if you are still worried about the tech, I do have a little class on specifically the tech for crochet patterns and it walks you through how to do it, how to create pictures with watermarks that you can add to your website and to your um, social media graphics and the pictures that you use for your crochet patterns, how you get these listed onto Etsy, how you create that PDF and it's much simpler than you think. So I'll pop the link to that in the show notes. And it's, it's a quick half hour class, so it's, it's really simple to get your head around the tech, I promise you. But thank you for joining me. And I, I really hope this has put your mind at ease that you can overcome the tech issues and that it's not as bad as you think it is. And I would definitely encourage you to give it a try. Most of these platforms have free versions so that you can play around with them first. So don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter for tips straight to your inbox. And you can do that at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe. And if you have any questions about tech, come over to my free Facebook group, the Crochet Recurring Income Know-How Group. So that's it from me, and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.